they see you typing. Welcome to the Cyberbeat. All right, folks, let's talk about the internet. It's a wild west of cat videos and online shopping, right? Well, not entirely. Lurking in the digital shadows are the cyber police. Don't worry, they're not after your grandma's cat memes, probably. These digital detectives patrol the information superhighway, hunting down cyber criminals. Think hackers, scammers, and those folks who take Nigerian prince emails a little too seriously. They're like regular police, just with less donut-fueled stakeouts and more firewall analysis. Why should you care? Because even the most tech-savvy among us can stumble into online trouble. Ignorance is not a defense in cyber court, so buckle up as we delve into the world of cyber policing. We'll explore what grabs their attention and how to avoid becoming their next case study. Think of it as a digital self-defense class with fewer nunchucks and more common sense. Let's dive in. Red flags waving. What gets the cyber police's attention? Okay, so you're not planning any elaborate bank heists in the metaverse? Good. But did you know that even seemingly innocent online activities can raise eyebrows in the cyber police department? Let's shine a light on some digital red flags. First up, illegal downloads. We all love a good movie marathon, but pirating the latest blockbuster screams, look at me, I break copyright laws. Those free movie sites, often crawling with malware too. Stick to legitimate streaming services, folks. Next, hate speech and cyberbullying. The internet isn't your personal soapbox for bigotry and threats. Cyber police take online harassment seriously. Remember, words have power, even in the digital world. And then there's the dark web. Think of it as the internet's shady underbelly, where anonymity reigns and illegal goods and services flow freely. Just browsing the dark web can land you on a watch list. It's like wandering into a biker bar wearing a police uniform. Not advisable. Remember, the internet isn't some lawless wasteland. The cyber police are always watching, so be mindful of your digital footprint. Stay tuned for real-life examples of folks who learned this the hard way. I was just kidding. Real-life tales of cyber mishaps. Gather round for cautionary tales from the Cybercrime Chronicles. Even harmless online antics can have serious consequences. Take the case of the Twitter terrorist. He tweeted a bomb threat to an airline. Spoiler alert. No one laughed. He got arrested and charged with a felony. Jokes need common sense, not a subpoena. Then there's the Facebook fraudster. He scammed people out of money with a fake profile. He got caught and now faces a judge. The internet might feel anonymous, but actions have real-world consequences. So before you post, tweet, or comment, think twice. Your future self and your lawyer will thank you. Busted, or just being paranoid. Recognizing the signs of cyber surveillance? How can you tell if you've attracted their attention? One sign is unusual device behavior. Is your phone suddenly draining its battery faster? Strange noises during calls or weird pop-ups? These could be signs of spyware. Another red flag is targeted advertising. If something feels off, it probably is. Notice multiple red flags? Take a closer look at your online security. Section 5 Dark Web Doozies When Online Anonymity Isn't So Anonymous Let's journey into the darkest corners of the internet, shall we? Buckle up because it's about to get shady. We're talking about the dark web, a hidden network of websites often used for illicit activities. It's like the most Eisley cantina of the internet. You will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. Here's the thing. The dark web isn't just for hardened criminals. Curiosity seekers, privacy advocates, and even journalists venture into this digital underworld. But here's the catch. The cyber police are lurking there too, trying to catch criminals red-handed, or should we say, black-hooded, Think of it like this. Imagine trying to rob a bank while wearing a name tag that screams future inmate number 42,069. That's essentially what some people do on the dark web. They think they're anonymous, but they leave digital footprints everywhere. And the cyber police? They're like digital detectives analyzing those footprints, tracing IP addresses, and piecing together the puzzle of your online activity. So before you click on that sketchy dark web link, remember you're not as anonymous as you think. Section 6. Think before you click. The perils of phishing and malware. Let's talk about phishing, shall we? No, not the kind with rods and reels. We're talking about digital phishing, where cyber criminals cast their lines into the vast ocean of the internet, hoping to hook unsuspecting victims. These digital bait-and-switch schemes often come disguised as legitimate emails, messages, or websites. You know the drill, congratulations, you've won a free cruise, 
or urgent action required, verify your bank account. Clicking on these malicious links can unleash a torrent of trouble, from identity theft to financial ruin. And then there's malware, the nasty little brother of phishing. It's like the digital equivalent of stepping on a Lego, except instead of a sharp pain in your foot you get a virus that infects your computer, steals your data, or holds your files hostage for ransom. Not fun. So, how can you avoid these digital pitfalls? Simple. Be cautious. Don't click on links from unknown senders. Be wary of offers that seem too good to be true, and keep your software updated. Remember folks, a little bit of digital hygiene can go a long way in protecting yourself from the cyber bad guys. Section 7 Social Media Slip-Ups From Oversharing to Cyberbullying Ah, social media. The land of perfectly curated lives, endless scrolling, and the occasional existential crisis. It's also a breeding ground for cyber blunders that can attract the attention of the cyber police. Let's start with oversharing. We get it. You went to brunch, your avocado toast was perfectly smashed, and your dog wore a cute little hat. But do you really need to share every mundane detail of your life with the entire internet? Oversharing can make you a target for identity theft, stalking, and other cyber nasties. And then there's the dark side of social media cyber bullying. Hiding behind anonymous profiles, bullies unleash a torrent of hate, insults, and threats. But here's the thing, cyberbullying is a real crime with real consequences. Cyber police can track down bullies and hold them accountable for their actions. So, before you hit that post button, ask yourself, is this something I want the entire world, including potential employers, future in-laws, and the cyber police to see? Remember, the internet is forever. Choose your words wisely, folks. Protecting your digital dough, navigating online financial transactions. Let's talk about money, honey. Keep your cash safe in the wild, wild west of online transactions. Cyber criminals love digital dough. Use secure websites and strong passwords. Enable two-factor authentication. Be wary of suspicious emails. Better safe than sorry. Section 9. Kids and Cybercrime. Keeping youngsters safe in the digital playground. Remember when the internet was just a novelty, something you accessed through dial-up while your parents awkwardly tried to send their first email? Yeah, those days are gone. Today, kids are practically born with smartphones in their hands, navigating the digital world with ease. While this tech savviness is amazing, it also makes them vulnerable to cybercrime. Think cyberbullying, online predators, and exposure to inappropriate content. And no, installing parental control software isn't a magic solution. So, what's a digitally responsible parent to do? Talk to your kids, folks. Have open and honest conversations about online safety, just like you would about stranger danger in the real world. Teach them about strong passwords, responsible social media use, and the importance of not sharing personal information online. Encourage them to come to you if they encounter anything uncomfortable or scary online. Remember, you're not just their parent, you're their first line of defense in the digital world. Section 10. Shields up. Practical tips for staying safe online. All right, Cyber Crusaders, let's wrap things up with some practical tips to keep you safe and sound in the digital realm. Think of it as your online safety starter kit, complete with metaphorical helmets and firewalls. First up, passwords. We know, we know, remembering a million different passwords is about as fun as a root canal. But trust us, strong and unique passwords are your first line of defense against cyber bad guys. Don't use password 123. Be creative. Use a mix of upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. Next, updates, updates, updates. Those pesky software update notifications might seem annoying but they're often crucial security patches. Think of them as digital flu shots for your devices. And finally, a healthy dose of skepticism. If an offer online seems too good to be true, it probably is. Be wary of suspicious emails, links, and messages, especially those asking for personal or financial information. Remember, staying safe online isn't about being a tech whiz, it's about being aware of the risks and taking simple precautions. So go forth, browse safely, and keep your digital shields up. Section 11. The Future of Cyber Policing. What to Expect in an Increasingly Digital World. As we plunge headfirst into the future, the line between the physical and digital worlds continues to blur, and with this convergence comes a whole new set of challenges for cyber policing. Think about it. The metaverse is expanding, cryptocurrencies are gaining traction, and artificial intelligence is becoming more sophisticated by the day. 
This rapidly evolving landscape requires agile and adaptable cyber police forces to stay one step ahead of the cyber criminals. We're talking about tackling complex issues like cross-border cybercrime, regulating the use of AI in surveillance, and navigating the legal and ethical dilemmas of data privacy in a world where everything is interconnected. It's a brave new world out there, folks, and cyber policing is on the front lines. So buckle up, stay informed, and let's work together to create a safer and more secure digital future for everyone.